Welcome back everybody. As you can see, the cross member is now welded solid. It's great, all good and ready to put back in the car, except I need to fabricate the frame. So let's see what the weather's got in store for us. Yeah, let's do something else today. Today's little project is all going to be making a Mustang 2 steering rack fit a narrowed welded Crown Vic subframe. Okay, now these are the original mounting points for the Crown Vic steering rack, but they used to be out here, right? So, unfortunately, these are the mounting points for the Mustang 2 and they are approximately oh, one inch wider each side. Okay, so they're not going to fit on those mounting bolts anymore. Never thought they would. That's not the problem. So, here's the plan. These are studs. I'm going to try and remove these studs and then make a bracket that goes from there to there with an extended section at each side with a bolt coming out that will accept these. So hopefully, hopefully that will work. Instead of just cutting these off, that was actually Blaine yesterday said that I should be able to get these out and put in kind of flush bolts for this mounting plate that I'm going to make that will go from about there all the way over to there to support this uh, steering rack. So let's, let's go on with that. First thing I want to do is try and get these studs out. Yeah, I may also have to trim this little section. These aren't structural, they're merely to uh, try and protect the, the bottom of the steering rack from the ground. So I'm not too bothered about cutting this little angle off. Maybe that angle as well. Maybe the whole thing, who knows. It's all very fluid. So I'm going to try this uh, stud removing tool that I've had for ever. And the idea behind this is the more you tighten it, uh, sorry, the more you counterclockwise, it actually works in reverse, so it's tightening it every time you turn this. You just need to give it an initial nip up first. And then from that point on, hopefully it will just Of course these are probably on with some uh, thread lock Still tightening I wonder if these are in reverse Nah, that would be silly You know what? <laughs> this is a uh, this is one of these tools that you use once every couple of years, but it's invaluable because I've not even damaged this. It's good to be used again somewhere else. All right, I'll get the other one out. Yeah, I was really lucky with that. It went right down past the threads, so that's uh, it's a nice stud I can use in the future. Add that to the pile of stuff I'll probably never use. Okay. Yep. 
So first thing then I'm going to do is cut away this angle here and that side and then I can start measuring where this bracket's going to sit and the size it needs to be. Just give you a closer look at what I'm trying to do here. So this is a Mustang 2 steering rack. As I said before, these mounting holes don't line up and they're only out by that much. So the plan, as I say, if I make a bracket, decent thickness bar, goes from that one to that one, bolt it in with an extended section with a bolt coming out each side that will take these mounts. And that should work fine. This seems a little close, but when I checked it against the crown back, it's just this, this uh, flexi bush thing, uh, flexi uh, cover. It's just a lot thicker than the other one. So I can just buy a, a slimmer, ah, what's it got, a boot, rubber boot. If I buy a slimmer rubber boot then it's not going to interfere with the bolt that's going to go up through there. I don't want the uh, the action of that going back and forward, rubbing against this bolt head and tearing it. But as I say, if I get a slimmer one of these, then it, that shouldn't be a problem. Height wise is pretty much the same as the Crown Vic was, so as I say I just need to extend them out either side about an inch and a half and I should be able to keep this uh, protective base plate thing. Okay, let's uh, let's dig out some metal to make a, a metal bracket. Use flash. So I took some measurements before I committed to making this bracket because I had a feeling that this steering rack would not sit in the center completely. So what I've done, I have centered the steering so that it's like two and two and a quarter, two and three quarters either way, but that's that's the middle, okay? So this would be your your wheels straight. So I've measured the distance between this to there and it's just just under six inches. So this side is just under five inches. So that means that I can move the whole thing that way an inch. No, half an inch. Which means that this might actually line up with that hole. So I'll give that a shot and see, and then I only have to make a bracket for that side. I'll give it a go. 
Suspicions confirmed. So, steering rack is centered with the shaft. Okay, so that would be the equal amount of turns left and right. Now, the distance between here and here, just under five and a half inches from there to there. Okay. And from here, if you can look upside down, just around five and five and a half inches. So pretty much spot on. Except now this this is lined up with that mounting hole. This one I just need to make a little plate that goes from there over to there and stick a stud through there and we're sorted. The only downside to this is the shaft is closer to the the chassis which is going to be sitting here. The frame rail is going to be sitting here so there'll need to be a obviously there would be a Universal joint there anyway. Uh, I'll deal with that when I get to it. But uh, that saves a lot of hassle because now I just need to make a little plate for that side. Uh, that's that hole's much bigger, so I'll need to sleeve that with a with the bolt because the bolt go, that goes through it, which would be wherever I threw it. Yeah, this uh, this stud which would screw in there. Is obviously too big, so I just need to find a sleeve for that. Um, I'll, I'll do the same with that side as well, just so that they're equal. But that's good. Now I can do a bracket. Okay, here's what I've come up with. One extending bracket, welded on. The bolt welded on, that is. So that will sit in there. And obviously because that's quite a thick steel, it needs a spacer over this side, slips over like so. That gets bolted on there, and then hopefully the steel rack will just sit right on there in exactly the right space. <laughs> uh, let's install. Unfortunately I've got different size uh, bolts and nuts at the moment. I'll try and rectify that further down the line but uh, I'm just using what I've got at the moment and it'll just have to do as long as it's solid one ah, ah, ah. so now the Steel rack should just pop straight on. I still need to sleeve these. These holes are too big, so I need to sleeve them for this uh, stud size. Like so. One nut there. Nut and a washer there. Let's see how it looks up close. So as I say, the clearance here isn't great, but that's because this boot is so fat. If it was a bit thinner, then it'll be fine. Movement is fine. Uh, it was really the this nut. The bolt comes through this side, so the head of the the, the bolt will be sticking up there. That's enough room there. It's enough room there because this is obviously going to go back and forward. That's fine. Okay, I'm happy. That was a relatively easy job as uh, as jobs go here. <laughs>
So just a quick video for you today, nothing too exciting, but quite an important one nonetheless. So getting the Mustang to a steering rack is definitely an easy option for this. It's a simple bracket you make. As I say, you one side slots onto the existing mount bolt and the other one you just make a little extended bracket and you're sorted. It's great. Well, I say it's great. We'll see what it's like when it's actually on the car and driving. Anyway, thank you for watching again. I'm not sure what I'm doing next. I'm going to be quite busy at work for the next few weeks, so I'll maybe get uh, stuck into the the body stuff that I can do inside the garage. So, thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.